don't know if I'll get this to work again. I just wanted to show you. Here we have our controller with its uh, rather warm outputs. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Let's bring it up. About there. And about 50%, maybe. There you go, you can see it moving. There you go. Look at that. Just want to bring it down a bit. There we go. And that's running on about 26% mark space ratio. On 24 volts, by the way. That'll be pumping about 3 amps. There you go, you can see it. Okay. See if we can bring the speed up a bit. We're just shortening the mark, the space now, so keeping the torque. Okay. There. Now they're getting a bit warm, I'm sure. Yes, they are. They are getting very warm. They're probably on about like over a hundred degrees now. Right. Let's see if I can bring it down. Oh, it's gone. Okay, let me just shut them off. I don't know what speed that was running at, but that's proof positive that that measly controller can actually power that motor. What I need to do, of course, is get the sensors on it. But that's really good, because that will now power that, which means I can get a sensor circuit on that, and we'll have the full feedback, and we'll see how fast we can get it to go. And that would be cool. Anyway, I'm going to end on that note, because it's now quite fast eight. Yeah, so we've got something to look forward to now. Yeah, damn right. I don't know what we're going to get out of that, but it should be interesting. These are really hot. Yeah, they're still cooling down. Just let me uh, use the old compressor to try and... Uh, there we go. A little bit of wind on them. I brought them down a bit. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty amazing. That we've got 24 volts driving it. That's the limit I can go to because the BC uh, 547s or 557s, I've got a limit of about I think 40 volts or something. And of course we're running 36 volts through them. So that's a limit with those. But what we need to do now is to up the circuit, get the full high power version. These output stages can handle 600 volts. But the driver stages before it are only rated up to, I think it's about 40. Yeah. So now what we need to do, because they're very high gain, that's why I use them. I need to source some other transistors, which are equally high gain. I think the ZTX series have some. And, uh, yeah, and then we can get it running. Because that would be cool. Because if I can get it running on those, without blowing them, Right, then I can get it working on those. You see? See what I'm thinking? And I wouldn't be surprised if I can't actually hook this up as well and get this running. But I'm not going to. Because <laughs> I think I've pushed my look so far. That'll do. Okay. That's pretty good. And that's BLDC as well. That's not using AC synthesis. That's just straightforward BLDC. And it worked. And that was very low frequency very low frequency so we didn't blow anything and that was that's the thing because you're slapping loads and loads of current through it so you get na massive induction spikes <coughs> off it right and uh, it's not blowing anything these guys are handling it yeah, that's a bit weird yeah I haven't blown anything obviously it still it smoothly powers it let's just do it again I just want to see it do it again. I think I've gone too fast though. I need to perhaps slow it down a bit. Let's drop it down. Uh, I think to about there. Let's just see it do it. There we go. There you go. 
there's a lot of weight in it you see and I didn't actually expect it to spin it because of the uh, because of the, the the magnetism that it has to overcome I'm trying to get it down to no it won't go down to 20% <coughs> Quite difficult actually. Let me just put this down. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that black bit. I was just trying to spin it up and I could see it going again. But these guys, I can even smell them. So they're getting very hot. They will be in the region of 100 degrees. So. Uh, We'll call it a night there. But I'm really, really chuffed at that because then that means we can now move on from experimenting with this to experimenting with this. And of course the next stage is to experiment with that. So that's really good. Okay. Uh, thank you.